Welcome to the Chemistry, Biology and Math Revision Hub. Today we're doing the A-Level Biology Practicals. This is called Practical 8, Determining the Tensile Strength of Plant Fibers. In this core practical, we're going to be observing plant fibers. These could be xylem tissues. They can be identified by adding colored dyes to the water the plant celery stem is placed in. And again, remember plant fibers, these are going to be non-living. So it's harder for microorganisms to digest them, meaning after digestion of the other plant materials, these fibers are going to be left behind during the writing process. So after these fibers are obtained, we're going to use a knife to cut the fibers. We have to make sure the fibers have the same diameter. The only difference here is maybe the fibers from different plants, but everything else has to be the same. The diameter has to be the same. The length has to be the same. So the only variation is going to be maybe they're from different plant materials. So we'll carefully remove five fiber strings from the plant stalks using a knife. Use a white tile as a cutting surface. We carefully inspect the strings to ensure there are no breaks or cuts. Each string is going to have a constant diameter along its length. Cut the strings so you have three that are 10 centimeters long, three that are 15 centimeters long, and three that are 20 centimeters long. This is going to depend on you. When you're describing the exam, it depends on you. You can clamp one of the 10 centimeter strings between two retort stands. We can see the retort stands here and then the clamped fiber here. You have to make sure they're securely clamped and then place the cushioning beneath the masses. In this case, we can see the cushioning here. So the masses do not strike the bench or the floor. Add masses of about 10 grams at a time until the string breaks. Record the mass in the results table and then repeat with each of the other strings. The key thing is the fiber that is going to have the greatest strength is going to be the one that takes longer to be broken or the one that requires more masses to be broken. The one that is the weakest is going to be the one that breaks fast. So this brings us to the end of this core practical. Thank you for being with us. Do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.